What up, sexy Sagittarians? How are you guys? I hope this video finds you well. Welcome to my channel, The Intuitive Teacup. That's me, my name's Annie. Happy to have the Sag gang out there with me. We're gonna do a little love and romance spread. So if you're not looking for love and romance, I'll see you on the next one. I'm probably gonna do career and finances next loop through. So I'm about halfway through the zodiac signs. You guys are up next. My beautiful Saggies, how are you guys? Um, I hope you guys are not losing your minds, right? At home, being safe, being quarantined. Um, yeah, but always always the optimist. You guys tend to have a very positive, beautiful outlook on life. So yeah, I hope, I hope that's working for you. Um, yeah, let's see what messages we can get. You guys know my general spiel. I do um, general messages here on YouTube. Not everything I say will resonate with all the Sagittarians out there. So it's up to you to come into this reading with an open heart and an open mind. Um, I ultimately ask that you only take away messages that resonate with you, that motivate you, inspire you, fit your circumstance in, or scenario uh, in some capacity. Everything else that feels strange or foreign, uh, you can drop it like it's hot. You can push it aside. It may, it may circle back and resonate for you in a few days or weeks. Uh, but yeah, have faith that messages that don't necessarily strike a chord with you, they're probably going out to someone else who needs to hear them. So. Anyways, I hope there's lots of good messages in here for you to take away. Um, everything else about this video is in the description box below. I think that's my general spiel. Yeah, you, I think you, you guys know the drill, right? All right, a couple more cards for my Sagittarians out there. Their energy, mind, heart, and action, please, for Sagittarius. Most important messages with absolute clarity. Beautiful. All right, one, two, three. Cool. All right, let's do it. All right, so bottom of your deck, you have a choice to make and you are going to make a choice. <laughs> you have the two and then there's the one. So maybe you have two different people you're considering. Sometimes with this, I, I see it as a card. It is a card of Aries. Could also involve a Capricorn with that world card, kind of like that Saturnian energy. So yeah, it, it's like getting the two down to one, making some sort of communication or some sort of ad sexual advance or however you want to say it, just dating, flirtation. Uh, with, with two of cups, and, oh, it, and it could be an Aries that you're choosing to move forward with. It could also be someone you maybe work with. Uh, it could be a Gemini or a Virgo. But yeah, you're, you're looking to, to match cups with them. And because it's sort of presenting as three, two, uh, I'm sorry, two and three uh, in terms of the cups, it's probably something new-ish. Um, it's probably not something that, that's, uh, you know, long-term legacy, but, or I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. It's not something that has been established over over the a long time if that makes sense yeah you're, there's a lot of fire energy though so it could be with another fire sign um other bottom of your deck though is holding back so something about a scorpio might be holding back from you and then you have aries again so for some of you it's a choice between an aries um and a scorpio or some sort of fire sign and maybe a gemini i know all these messages are coming through all right anyway we're, we'll return to that as needed but let's hop into your actual reading sagittarius so we're gonna look at your person first their overall energy is they're looking to communicate. It's, I, I just heard I'm all ears. They're waiting to hear from you, Sagittarius, or they're ready to extend some sort of communication to you. Could be an air sign you're dealing with, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is a card of victory. It's a new cycle. And, and I mean, kind of, I sort of see this like they're, they're putting themselves out there to, to receive any messages, or maybe they're on dating apps and kind of sending out some messages, not sure where they're going to land. But yeah, it's, it's something about the, the arm is coming through, um, like the gray cloud. So where they were once confused, there's now clarity. They're very confident and very sure of themselves. They know where they stand. There's a certainty in what they're looking for in romantic partnerships. Um, so that's, that's very positive. I like that a lot. Their headspace is where it gets a little bit tricky. Then they have the five of swords. So there's something about their mind. They're unable to de detach from something that happened in the past where... <clears throat> Either, I hate to say it this way because it's crude, but it kind of feels like they got screwed over. Um, or they feel like they made a wrong decision and they're wanting to return to something in the past and right the wrong of it. Sometimes the five, the, any five in tarot is complicated. You only have one in, in your spread right here, and it is coming up in your person's mind. So there's an imbalance or an awkwardness in terms of like bridging the gap in, in their mind of if they're ready to look forward in love or if they're still caught up on the past. They're, they're kind of in, in that uh, like kind of mutable phase where it could go either way. They could easily pick up their swords and move forward, but this may not even have to do with you, Sagittarius. This could be that they feel like they hurt somebody else in a relationship and they're wanting to return to at least make it right. It's, we'll clarify, it's not necessarily that they're looking to hook up with like an ex or a past person. It could be. 
But it's I, with this card, it's more so that they feel like ashamed or they feel guilty that they did some something or someone wrong. And yeah, there's a sense of guilt or, or remorse or regret and of wanting to fix it and make it right so that they can move on and not still be carrying around all that mental baggage. After the Five of Swords is the Five of, uh, I'm sorry, the Six of Swords, which is all about moving on like smooth sailings to like brighter shorelines. It's like they need a sense of relief because their mind is still kind of bogged down with, with something that has already occurred that is, is causing gray clouds overhead. So it's interesting, the order of this might be reversed. It might be that they have to deal with this and then they have, as I was saying, they get out of those gray clouds and then it's almost like they're, they're set free. There's something about uh, like karmic justice or needing to feel like they, again, went back to fix something where there was a misstep or they felt like they didn't do something the correct way. They need it for their mental sanity. I just keep getting it's going to set them free. The truth shall set you free. That's what I get, right? Um, so then in their heart, they have a soulmate in mind. They're, they're looking for marriage. They're looking for a solid foundation. It's like the 11-11 card. They're looking for that little magical gift from the universe in terms of their romantic partnership. Uh, and then in their overall action card, they have the 10 of pentacles. So... I don't know why I'm being called to say this. Every now and then this can be a card of someone who's married. They've already established like the husband, wife or, or whatever. It doesn't have to be a gender thing. But the legacy, the loyalty with the dogs, they might have loyalty for someone else. They may be involved with someone else. Here's the thing, though. I, it's eh, well, let's clarify. I don't want to speak too soon, but it could also just mean that they're looking to establish a marriage or a soulmate connection with someone for the rest of their life. I could see this as I'm done like playing head games or I'm done not being committed. Like I, I'm looking for the one that like I want to build the castle with, the one that I want to, you know, live in the palace with, with all the kids and the grandkids. And like they're looking for the long term. It could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <clears throat> I just realized my <laughs> nothing. Don't, don't worry about that. How long has that been showing? How embarrassing. <sighs> Although it was cute. It was cute though, right? It was cute Sagittarius. <laughs> You guys got me. I know you're not judging me. Yeah, your person's wanting to go back in the past and make an offer to someone, and maybe it's you. If, if this isn't a brand new person, if you guys had a little bit of chaos or a little bit of he, should, he said, she said, like keeping, keeping uh, tally or what is that expression? You're uh, keeping score of who said what, but it kind of became like a, a vicious game of retaliation. Ooh, that's kind of a heavy message. They're wanting to come in and, again, make it right, a very solid offer. It, it could be in the form of an apology. This may have to do with a Virgo, though it doesn't have to. Yeah, there's, there's major messages or breakthroughs, actually, epiphanies even, um, trying to come through for this person. They're wanting a new beginning. Fool energy, lightheartedness, not having to carry around much baggage at all, right? You just got that little knapsack. They are willing to take a huge leap of faith. They're willing to take some sort of risk, even if it puts them not in danger, but in an awkward spot, because it feels like they're taking a risk by making an offer to someone who they're not actually sure that this person will even give them the time of day. Because it does seem like whoever was involved really had their heart broken, really felt, really felt uh, abandoned or, or hurt or, or stabbed in the back. Someone did something out of a lower vibration, and it was probably out of ego or selfishness. I'm not necessarily saying that they had bad intent, but they were very focused on themselves at the time. And maybe it was circumstantial, right? Maybe they had to focus on them. But yeah, there's an element of this person is willing to take a risk and, and express their truth. And maybe again, this, this could be dealing with someone from their past, relieving themselves of all that burden, and then coming in to make a brand new offer to you, Sagittarius. Um, so three of wands waiting for their ship. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't think this person is married. They're waiting for their soulmate. So it could be that they're waiting on someone from their past. There, there could be a lot of people involved here. It's like they have to apologize to someone. They might be waiting on someone else that they have feelings for. Or maybe if they're waiting on you, Sagittarius, they're just like, fuck it. I'm going to let Sagittarius know how I feel. Um, unless you're the one receiving the apology, there, there are kind of two storylines here. So... And then clarify Ten of Pentacles, please. That one, yeah, Two of Wands. All right. Showing up again. It's, it, like, was reversed in the deck, so it's wanting to be seen. 
You know that phrase like when someone says a little birdie told me? It's something about the word of mouth. Again, the he said, she said. There could have been something confused in the situation or or it not even confused. It could be the opposite where it's like someone admitted to someone they had a crush on you and word got around to you. And you might like this person. I mean, you're you're watching a tarot reading on them, but it's something about like how do you or like, I, I don't know, it's like a conversation someone has of, how did you know I liked you? And it's like, oh, a little birdie told me. It's like, a, you may be discuss oh, with your father in particular, you may be having a conversation and express to your father that you've decided to move forward in a romantic offer, in a love offer to someone. And I'm not for all of you, but for some of you, it's almost like the family is a bunch of like Gabby Gabbies. And something about it, like word gets out to that person or vice versa, right? Something about word gets out and it's like, I'm just getting like this really like cute, like schoolgirl, schoolboy crush or whatever it is. Like, yeah, something about like, oh, a little birdie told me. And maybe that phrase means something more to you guys at home. But it's, it's something about you, one or both of you kind of know, but maybe no one has acted on it yet. Like the two of wands, it's that indecision, do I or don't I, this way or that way. I, both of you are presenting as the aces, so you're both looking for something new. Again, you being fire, maybe you're looking at an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It does seem like both of you, maybe, okay, I think both of you have options, but you're both deciding to invest in one. You, Sagittarius, with the bird, too, it might be another earth sign or another fire sign, for that matter. One of you may have a Capricorn involved in the mix. There, again, a lot of people going on here, but very positive cards. They're looking for their Ten of Pentacles. They're looking for the wifey or the husband or the whoever, you know? All right, let's look at your energy, Sagittarius. So your overall energy is presenting as the card of reciprocity, Six of Pentacles, and the hangman. Again, decisions. Sometimes this card in a love spread can be third party stuff. It's like you may have been dating around. I'm not necessarily saying third party stuff, but it's like, eh, I'll try this person on. Like, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll have dinner with this person. I'll feed this mouth, do this, do that. But then it's like, am I really feeling it with this person? You're deeply contemplative of the life that you've been living versus the one that you want to lead in the future. And that's why this card is coming up too. You certainly could be dealing with a Scorpio, but following the hangman, which is all about assessment of what's going on around you, eventually the hangman decides what, what he's ready to change in his life. And that's when the death card comes in. So some of you could be heading towards a Scorpio, um, but you're, it's almost like you're looking at your options and I think you're leaving both. So maybe you have three options. Maybe you haven't even met this person yet, but it's almost like the two that you're considering. I think you like them, but nothing about this speaks about romance or passion to me. It's, it's very held back in terms of feeling elated. It's almost like there's someone else you're thinking of that offers you that, that crown of illumination. There's someone else that Sagittarius lights your fire. It, it makes you feel alive when you think about them. You dream about them. And it might be this four of pentacles person, someone who's, someone who's very secure or someone who's very safe. And, and maybe that means something to you. Is it, is it someone who maybe you originally wrote off as kind of boring and mundane, like, oh, they always play it safe. But if that's the case, there's something about them with the way he makes the four with his legs there. It's like you're, you're dreaming about the four. Something about uh, what the number four might be important. Do you want to have like four kids? Do you want to... Uh, cancer is the fourth house of the zodiac, so, something like that. Something about this four is, is important here. It could have even had to do with a conversation where someone said they didn't feel safe with you. And it's not so much like an abusive relationship. It was almost like you, Sagittarius, you can be a little bit of a wild card, right? You're the knight of wands of the zodiac. You're very passionate and inspired to go off and experience everything, right? Like page of wands, that's kind of your energy. Um, wow, you have the two. Yeah, that's what I mean. There are so many people and so many choices involved. You have the two of wands three times. Three times. That's a lot of choices. That's, and these are all different people too, by the way. So you may have options. Your person may have options. The other person you want may have options. And again, Capricorn. Capricorn and Aries are playing a huge role in all of this. So again, maybe you have some options, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm sorry. Heading back to this conversation about safety and security. 
it might be that you're you like someone who's very good with their money because i will say not in a materialistic way but security feeling financially provided for is very important to this person so they may devote a lot of like uh hours to their job maybe that's what was boring to you maybe you had written them off as consumed by their work or the opposite something about this person may have insulted you and said something like you're too flighty you're too unstable or, or something like that where it's like i just don't feel safe i don't feel like more financially secure when i'm with you so if there was a severing at all and maybe and, and that's sort of i'm only saying that because someone here is wanting to apologize for something that that was said in the past they may have shot you down and and written you off as um i don't know immature this or that whatever it doesn't really matter that could be the person that you might actually be thinking of <clears throat> So then you have a tower showing up in your mind. To me, that sometimes says you're anticipating the worst or intuitively you sense something. But for the most part, intuitive hits, those really come through in the emotions. <laughs> My shirt is too baggy. It keeps like sagging and exposing too much, Sagittarius. All right, so your tower has to do with the Six of Swords. All right, so okay, this is related. The person who's wanting to go back and potentially offer a communication to you about something that they, I heard something that they resent, but it might be the opposite, something that they did that made you resentful. They're offering a very solid offer. Um, it might be an apology or a, hey, do you want to try and build or grow from this? You're thinking about that and you're wanting to move forward. We were talking about how the five of swords goes to the six of swords, the smooth sailing, moving on from mental chaos and conflict. That's kind of coming up here for you. It, it, it's almost like you haven't moved on from it. And so you're still holding on to that. Well, I'm just going to say the tower moment that happened between you guys. Somebody did or said something that, that they do feel remorseful for. or At minimum, they want to go back and make it right. Even if that doesn't necessarily mean let's, let's, let's have babies, right? It, it could just be like, hey, like I really need to get this off my chest. And it, it does feel a little bit more like an apology. With this, it can be reconciliation, bringing the cups back together to, to come to some sort of common ground, right? Like there, nobody has like the executive power position. Um, and, and maybe you both are very headstrong. Maybe you both are very set in your ways and nobody wanted to offer that apology, right? It's like you both are the emperor. It's like maybe for a long time you were both really inflexible and maybe that's what sort of escalated this argument into something bigger. But showing up in your person's spread, they want to come in and make it right. So you might be, uh, I don't know if fearful is the right term, but you may have anxiety about this person coming back in to um, dig up things that happened in the past. But I think it's going to set you free at minimum. It's going to set you off on a path of healing. The towers are to our benefit, but it doesn't always feel like that at the time. But I am sort of getting with the tower too. There is an electricity with you guys, especially sexual passion. Uh, and yeah, then you have the six of swords again. Yeah, you are meant to go. It's almost like dance with the devil again. Have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? Does anybody watch Batman? That's what Joker says to Batman. That actually might be significant. That may have been like a Halloween costume that you guys did or something about that Joker Batman relationship. I'm, I'm sure it means something to someone out there. I don't know who, but that, whatever. That's up for you to determine. Anyway, it's almost like you have to dance with the devil again. The darker energies that sort of brought this empire down. It, this could also be a same-sex couple as well, a particularly very masculine energy. Anyway, there's something about you have to uh, dig up the past, and that involves like the skeletons in your closet or like sort of like the demons. Something about keeping the demons at bay. It's something about... Maybe this person is like some sort of emotional trigger for you or vice versa for them. It's like when they think about this, it's like they, they like shudder. They're just like, ugh. It's, I'm getting like their shame about what they did. And so when they think back to it, it's like it's a devil in their life that they're trying to conquer. So in a weird way, by just allowing them to speak their peace and potentially apologize to you to say that thing that's weighing very heavily on their mind, it, it will set them free. The, the truth shall set you free. Whether or not you want to consider them romantically is sort of besides the point. It's almost like spirit is asking you to step up and be their bigger person and understand. By allowing this person to speak their truth, you are, you are bringing so much needed healing to their life from something that they've been carrying around with them for quite some time. 
And not only that, it's impacting their ability to love. Uh, maybe other people, but more so, I don't know, this, this could be like a karmic connection between you guys. They're, they're waiting for the right time to communicate with you. Something about sending out smoke signals. You know, it's funny. I am getting a storyline here about they might spy on you through other people or there's something about indirect messages. How I was saying, like, you, they may have said something to their father and that whole metaphor of like, oh, a little birdie told me. I don't know how shocking it would be that you come back into their life or vice versa because one or both of you is keeping tabs on each other. There's something really funny about like, I, I'm almost getting like the, the metaphor of this woman being like, all right, go spy on Sagittarius and come back with, you know, all the information. That's sort of what this is. She's like sending off the Falcon as like a messenger, airmail. Again, you might be dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And something about like the, the detective or the person who's trying to understand what's going on, that might involve a Scorpio. They're kind of, I said this to someone else. They're like the Sherlock Holmes of the Zodiac. They uncover mysteries and, and they, yeah, you may have a Scorpio spying on you or trying to get information from you and you already kind of sense that something is off about it. It's not that they have bad intentions, but maybe that's why this is coming up too. This because... This is a card of Mars, so it can be Aries energy. Again, lots of Aries energy here. It can also be a card of Scorpio as well. So if, even if it's not this person coming in, you may get word from a Scorpio that's like, you know they like you, right? You know they still think about you. And that in itself, it, it's kind of like a... It shakes your world up. It And maybe for... I did place like the devil between both of you. You both are still holding on to something from the past that it just needs to be settled. It needs to be addressed. And that's going to be a little bit different for everyone. But I have to be honest, a lot of a lot of my Sagittarians, the person who's wanting to communicate with you, who you had a little bit of strife or struggle with, they do look at you as their soulmate or else they wouldn't spend this much time trying to spy on you. It's not so much that they're trying to get dirt on you. It's the opposite. They feel, again, a sense of guilt wanting to come back in, but they don't want to rock the boat with you. It's almost like they feel like they did enough damage. And so they're very cautious in how they choose to move forward with you. But that is what they want. They want I think a lot of them want a new beginning with you because it's like they see you as the jackpot. And you kind of are Sagittarius, right? You're like, I know. I know I am. They, they see you as the person they want to build a life with, that they want to have babies with, that they, again, they want to like build the empire with. That's the thing. It's like you both are the emperors here. So there's a sense that if this relationship were to ever work, it would have to be even Steven. With, again, with all these two of wands, the wands representing the fire signs, the two Aries, right? That might be strong in your chart, Sagittarius. It's something about no one can have ownership of the other one, or that's not really it. It's no one can have a bigger say. No one has more authority or more power in this relationship. It's even Steven. It's split right down the middle because if the other one steps out of line, you guys check each other real quick, which is not really my Sagittarian energy. So that's what I'm saying. There might be something very deep, like an emotional wound that happened with this person that kind of triggers you every now and then. It might it might sort of bring out the beast in you a little bit. And, and in metaphor, that might be like, a, like the sexual passion was really intense, but it's also, there's deep wounds here, right? The emperor wears his battle armor. He's had to fight a few fights in his life. And so it's really, it's like a protective shell. Again, something about like a Scorpio or a Cancer, uh, or even, oh, I'll just say a water sign for that matter. Both of you have, have your protective armor on and it's like you're, you're ready for battle at any moment. Like, you know, should the opportunity strike and you need to protect yourself, you're, you're very alert about how to do that. But you still dream about this person, though. Literally, maybe in your dreams, you've had dreams or visions about them. Maybe it's about them returning to your life. Or maybe you, in, in your dreams, you've had conversations about settling uh, or like a peace offering. That's what this could be, too. Yeah, you're headed towards your towards your Ten of Cups, a card of Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer, because ultimately you guys want to make it work. Ultimately, you guys are each other's wish fulfillment. Oh my God, Sagittarius, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Under that is King of Cups. So you got a lot of water energy around you, and then there's you. Yeah, okay, beautiful. And there's going to be ultimate truths shared. There's going to be intense, very blunt communication, 
but it is what this so desperately needs to like course correct and fix itself. You both are holding on to a lot of things and thinking a lot of things, but you're not saying them. You're just thinking about them and it's like eating away at you both inside. Yeah, you both may be very defensive. You know, I said the same thing to Aries, or I'm sorry, Aquarius, and you Sagittarius were very prominent in that spread. So again, for one of two of you, um, this is my Aquarius card if you're dealing with an Aquarius. Yeah, something about not speaking your truth or not saying that thing, it's weighing very heavily on you. Stay again, twos, indecision, choices, uh, thing, things that need to be you know, decided upon. Those swords are getting heavier and heavier and heavier and it's weighing you down. It's, it's weighing on your heart. Even if, again, if you, the, you choose not to build a future with this person, though quite frankly, you have so many cards indicating marriage and love and long-term, you both have the Ten of Pentacles. You also have the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups, the wish fulfillment, like Sagittarius. Really? You're going to tell me this isn't your person? Okay. Might be a Libra you're dealing with too. Or you might be signing a marriage contract. That could be it as well. Anyway, beautiful cards coming up. Completely lost my train of thought. Okay, the, the longer you uh, avoid this decision or this delay, it's almost like your swords are eventually going to drop. You, you have to drop your defense. You need to open, open yourself up to having some sort of difficult conversation that at very minimum will heal the love, will heal the heart spaces between the both of you. Not everybody wants reconciliation with someone from the past. I understand that. I'm not forcing you to do or say anything. I'm just presenting you with what the cards are saying. You have a lot of longevity. It could also be with an earth sign with all this pentacle energy. To I mean, honestly, you have almost all the signs here, but like at reading the cards, the signs are pointing me in the direction of communication and ultimately deciding to work with the one who is your dream, who is your wish fulfillment. So you know who that is, Sagittarius. I just about guarantee it. Is this a new person? Eh, probably not. I'm not really leaning in that direction so much. Um, coming up in your heart space is the sun. So this is the card of Leo. Again, uh, something about uh, the person you want to have children with. Maybe you already have a child together, right? If so, I'm sensing that you're divorced or you don't live together or there was a severing of some kind, though it doesn't have to be. I just heard stay together for the kids. That may have been a very difficult decision that someone decided to leave, but yeah, I don't know. Sagittarius, in your heart space, you're very creative. You're very fun. You, you, you emanate joy. You radiate love and abundance. And that's why so many people are attracted to you, particularly this person who views you as their soulmate. There's just something so fun and like effortlessly easy. I just heard effortlessly cool. They, they just see you as very cool, like very awesome. But it's not in, it's not cool in the sense of king of swords, like very cold hearted. It's not that. It's, it's the opposite. You, you light up their life. You light up their world. These very, very intense messages. So then in your action, this is so beautiful, you guys. Their overall energy is presenting as wanting a new communication. Your action is meeting that. Like, let's bring the swords together. In a cool way, actually, the two of swords, it could almost indicate your, the one person is holding the swords very, at, at, like, at a distance. But again, as they drop, they're going to come together. It's like you guys can only defense and be defensive of, your, of yourself or block each other for so long. Someone may have literally blocked you on social media. I'm just getting, it's going to drop. It, it has to drop. Like these swords were destined to come back together. Again, it doesn't mean this has to be your forever person. Spirit is just kind of indicating there's something here that needs to be healed between the two of you that will set you guys free. It will be a victory in either your love life together or separately. It's going to allow you to experience life in a much more beautiful way where something isn't constantly constantly pulling you back to the past. It, it, yeah, I just getting it's freedom. It's freeing. It's very beautiful. It's very good energy. Maybe you both are entertaining romance with another fire sign. That's possible. And even if that's the case, if your person is entertaining a fire sign, you're probably also another one. Again, all these twos. Six people are involved here. And maybe some of them are your children, right? If you have children together, but, and they don't all have to be fire signs, but there's a lot of people at a crossroads in love and who they want to move, motion, wands, action, who they want to take action with, who they want to move forward. It's ultimately, the universe is kind of asking, 
Who is, if you're looking for your forever person, and not everyone is Knight of Wands, Sagittarius, the player, but there is a soulmate connection here. And it, uh, so, most of these cards came up in your spread anyway. It's asking, if you could choose anyone right now, who would you want to build a life with? Who is the one that you dream about, right? This Neptunian, creative, dreamer, romantic energy. When you go to bed at night, who is the person you want to wake up next to? Who do you, who do you want to kiss good night? Sagittarius, this is the this is adorable. All your cards are so positive. It's really, really beautiful. <clears throat> Do I want to ruin it with romance angels? Let's see. Let's see what the angels have to say. <clears throat> Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher commitment. This might, not for everyone, but it might be a marriage contract. And I say that because you have Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, and the wish fulfillment card. And just the way these fell, it's like somebody wants to work on it with their long-term person, with their wish. The, the, the person they wish for and dream about, there's work being done here to make it solid to get to that Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, some, some of you have found your soulmate. I, I tend not to be like a, a hype woman. I, I wanna give you very real, honest messages, but I mean, I, I, I can only tell you so many things. There's major, major messages coming in. And these are the archer's arrows, right? From his bow and arrow. You have you coming up, you have the king of cups. So it's you presenting a beautiful cup of love to offer or it's someone else presenting you with that cup. And look, look what's in your hands. You're gonna blend those cups, right? You're gonna bring them back together and work your little magic, right? And I almost see this as like, the angels have, have blessed this union. They, they have, it's almost like divine guidance. They are, they are like ushering in this new chapter, this new cycle, where you guys can like set yourself free, unshackle yourself from the dark energy and come together in like a higher vibration. You're gonna duke it out, right? <laughs> Look at all these double cards. I can't even make this up. You didn't always see eye to eye. That was maybe the downfall of this relationship, but talk about a twin flame relationship. You have so many twin cards. Maybe you have twins, right? Maybe twins play a role. Maybe your uh, person has a twin brother or a twin sister. Ooh, okay. Forgiving and learning. Aw, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments and calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. The soulmates. All right, let's throw some zodiac signs on this and wrap her up. Sagittarius, this is beautiful. I hope this message resonates with lots of you. More importantly, I hope you were able to manifest this if that's what you want, because it's a beautiful message. Everybody's energy is good. It's just, yeah, you, you got a little, a little thing you guys got to discuss. And it, like, the, I take this to mean it's going to be life changing, but in a positive way, right? Okay, we'll take, we'll take like one or two more. Okay, thank you. So you have Libra, Gemini, Aries, Aquarius, and Sagittarius. You might be dealing with another Sag. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. Please like, share, subscribe. That helps me so much. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment if this resonates. Uh, I will see you beautiful Sagittarius very soon for more tarot. Bye, guys, and stay safe and healthy.